welcome back to my channel um it's been a little minute this video has been one that i've been wanting to do for a while this is a few of my favorite fragrances on a guy a quick story behind this list i used to work in the perfume shop in around 2019 so a lot of these fragrances did come out around that time and after the way i've judged these fragrances is these are the fragrances that I used to go into work every day and smell. Like, these were the perfumes that, above all other fragrances, these were the ones that I would go back and keep on smelling. This is basically a video for, you know, someone who may be looking for gift ideas or for people who are trying to start their fragrance collection and just need a bit of a nudge in the right direction, okay? A lot of these perfumes, I would personally say, are safe buyers. Meaning, if you buy them, you're more than likely to like them and the smells of them aren't offensive, they won't really offend anyone, you know, they're really safe, blind fragrances, but they're still really, really good fragrances, okay? So literally for this video, I just got some testers of the fragrances. Um, just one ML testers, you know, small testers, just to remind me of the scents. There are a few fragrances that I just couldn't get testers for, okay? But I'm just going to start with those fragrances just so we can get them out of the way. These are actually some of the fragrances that I loved the most in the store. So it's kind of ironic that I couldn't get testers for them. So the first fragrance on the list, Versace's Dylan Blue. Okay, so I, as I said, I wasn't able to get a tester for this fragrance, but guys, it's one of the nicest fragrances I smelt while I was working in the store for a guy. So the notes in Dylan Blue, the top notes are bermagot, grapefruit, water notes, and fig leaf. The middle notes are ambroxin, patchouli, black pepper, violet leaf, papyrus. And the base notes are incense, musk, tonka and saffron. As I said, I don't have a tester for Dylan Blue, so I really wish I could test it and just give you a bit more of an in-depth review. Dylan Blue is a really nice choice. If you are able to go into a store to smell Dylan Blue, I really do suggest it. You will probably like it. Okay, next fragrance on the list is another one of my favourites for a male blue de Chanel. Or de Parfum. Okay, so the EDP version. There are, I think, three versions. There is the EDT, the EDP, and the Parfum. I personally like the EDP version. Blue de Chanel is one of the most sexy, not like it's a very safe blind and safe buy. If you were trying to, you know, find a gift for a guy, um, Blue de Chanel is a really nice fragrance. So the notes in this. We have grapefruit, lemon, mint, pink pepper, bermagot, aldehydes, coriander, jasmine, ginger, nutmeg, melon, incense, amber, cedar, sandalwood, patchouli, labdanum, and amberwood. If you can get your hands on a tester or if you can go and smell it in store, I really do suggest you smell it. Okay, those are the two fragrances that will be at the top of my list. Um, now let's get into the testers that I do have. The first fragrance on the list is Armani Code Absolute. So at the time, Armani Code Absolute was a new release. Um, and guys, this is really a nice, sexy fragrance. <sighs> guys. <laughs> There's just something about men's fragrance that just excites me. Such a sexy, this is, I, I will say this is a very sexy grown scent. Um, this is a scent that I would say is probably for more special occasions. It is a very heavy, sexy, deep scent for a man. Guys, it's so good. And what I will say about Armani Code Absolute, just before I read the notes, it is quite sweet, okay? So, a lot of the times when I was working in the store and a guy would come in and say, you know, he'd want something for a special occasion, I would bring out Armani Code just as, like, you know, something to switch it up. 
because it is different from your traditional men's fragrance you know it doesn't really have that smokiness that a lot of men's scents may have um it is quite sweet and it does have a bit of vanilla okay so the notes in armani code absolute we have mandarin apple nutmeg orange blossom carrot seeds vanilla tonk bean suede and woody notes okay just 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 a, a lovely fragrance if you are looking for a gift for someone that may like you know sweet masculine scents i really would recommend absolute another fragrance we have on the list is jean paul gaultier's ultra male just like our money code absolutely um ultra male is another quite sweet fragrance for a guy um when I say sweet, I mean in terms of your traditional men, males, kind of, you know, perfume, it is quite sweet, but sweet in a nice way, sweet in a sexy way, not sweet in, you know, a feminine way. <sighs> guys, I know I say guys a lot, I'm going to try and not say it, but ultra melt is another sweet scent just like our money code absolute this is another choice for someone that may be into that sweeter kind of vibe okay so the notes are pear lavender mint bermagot lemon cinnamon clary sage caraway black vanilla amber patchouli and cedar ultra melt is another one that i used to smell all the time Guys, it's what I will say, it is, like I said, very sweet, um, especially for a men's fragrance. But guys, the sweetness just complements all the notes so well. If you can smell Ochmel, go and smell Ochmel. If you can get a tester, do you get a tester? If you like sweet masculine scents, do you give it a go. Next one on the list, I am actually really excited about this one and this one was also a new release in the store at the time and this is Jean Paul Gaultier's Le Beau. If you don't know, Jean Paul Gaultier came out with Le Beau and La Belle, or am I saying Le Beau? Le Beau and La Belle at the same time and La Belle is basically the female version. I have La Belle um, and it's a very sexy pears women's fragrance but Le Beau is a very sexy coconut okay so we have a fruity men's fragrance. So if you are into fruity scents or you're looking for you know a cologne for summer slash spring Le Beau is a very beautiful choice. It is such a nice blue color like it's such a nice blue color so cool there is a lot of coconut like when i say coconut i mean coconut should be one of the first things that you smell it is a very tropical male scent as i said very good for summer or spring the notes in this are quite straightforward we have bemagot we have coconut and we have tonka bean okay Lebo. It's just a lovely, if you are into tropical scents um, and you are looking for a male tropical scented perfume, Lebo is a wonderful choice. Guys, I'm so excited for this next one. This was another new release um, just before I actually left the store, actually. And this is D&G's K. What I love about DNG's K is it's such a versatile fragrance. I can smell this on a guy in a casual setting. It can transition very well into, you know, something a bit more sophisticated or something a bit more formal. And this can also be an everyday scent. It has a bit of a citrus note in there. But it also does smell like a traditional men's fragrance. You know, it is a very safe blind buy. It's just, it's just a really nice, clean smelling, non-offensive men's fragrance. The notes in K are, we have Jupiter Berry, 
we have citruses we have blood orange we have sicilian lemon we have pimento we have clary sage we have lavender we have geranium we have velvetia we have cedar and we have patchouli i prefer the edt in the k um, but they do also have an edp you can try both of them out see which one you like best but i do prefer the edt guys it's just a clean pleasant scent like if you're looking for a very safe pleasant scent to buy this would be one i would recommend k so that is the video today um it was a bit of a quick one um but i do hope i did at least give some people some ideas or you know help some people out in terms of choices okay so thank you for watching the video today and i shall see you guys in the next one